Good evening and welcome to Jim Mumley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for October 26th through November 7th. Miles depict a ridge over the Aleutians. You can see right here a ridge across much of the nation and a weak trough along the east coast. This is the GFS and this is how the the patterns forecast look like. Um, unsettled conditions are forecast from the central and southern plains into the middle Mississippi Valley and the Great Lakes early next week. Temperatures will be above normal in the plains and the Tennessee Valley ahead of a cold front and below normal temperature expected from the central and northern Rockies, followed by a uh, warm up. Now we're going to look at the period for October 29th through November 2nd. Miles and Ensemble are in good agreement during this period, and forecasting a ridge still across Alaska and, Hawaii, and um, the Aleutians. We have a troy clear over southwest Canada and the northwest. We have a broad ridge across um, the east, much of the nation, and we have a trough still lingering off the east coast. The main thing with this model is our forecasting a flat flow and the GFS. GFS ensembles, the European Deterministics, the European ensembles, and the Canadian ensembles, all showing basically a flat flow across much of the nation. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting Forecasting. Let's see if it comes up. <whistles> Above normal temperatures across much of the nation and for precipitation. Forecasting below normal precipitation here and here and above normal precipitation for Washington and the upper Mississippi Valley. Next is the period for November 3rd to the 7th. November 3rd to the 7th. Here's the November 3rd. This is the, um, the European Deterministics and the Canadian Ensembles. And the models are in very good agreement where the GFS forecasts a ridge over Western North America and a trough over Eastern North America. And a, the U, the uh, European ensembles forecast a trough over the northwest. And a ridge across the, the west central U.S. Now this is the Canadian ensembles showing basically a zone of flow at near to above normal heights. And we're looking here at the, um, this is European ensembles also agreeing with the Canadian and like um, during this period we're expecting the NAO and the AO indexes to be positive and the PNA to be negative. This will put the trough in the, w in the west and a ridge in the east so I think the pattern will be more like this because we have a weak trough here so during this forecast period I am forecasting little change in the temperature anomalies and the precipitation anomalies forecasting above normal, above normal precipitation for Washington, Oregon, the upper Mississippi Valley, and below normal precipitation here. So that is a long-range weather forecast discussion for October 26th through November 7th. Thank you for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather, and have a good day.